days out. It's kind of choppy. We're out of the wind a little bit right now. Um, it's about seven o'clock. Um, so we're gonna see you on the bike. Bye. So we're trying to figure these fish out. I'm trying to figure out where they are. Been fishing about 10 minutes, haven't even got a, got a bump yet. I'm just cruising in kind of these little back coves. Kind of figuring they're gonna be in here. Where it's first thing in the morning and it's probably the warmest part of the lake is up in here. So if we don't get anything in here, we're gonna try another spot. But we're gonna, uh, gonna keep searching, see if we can find one. Right, nothing off the jig or the big inline pike, so I'm just going to throw a spinnerbait for 10 minutes or so. It's good universal bass and pike water. Catch pretty much just as many bass as you do pike. This is a 5 8 black and blue with a number 7 Colorado blade on it. It's kind of my spinnerbait I use when I'm in a bass pike blade. Primarily pike fishing, but you can pick up just as many pike on a spinnerbait as you can a big in line. So I'm going back to the spinnerbait. Super tough fishing this morning. Been fishing about probably half hour, 40 minutes, and not even a bump. What I'm kind of doing is just letting the wind get out of this area. I'm going to just try some shoreline fishing because they're not up in the cove. They're not up in the kind of marshy areas like I thought they would be. Not exactly what we're looking for, but no, that's just a tiny guy. Right? That little guy came off a black and blue spinnerbait, the one I mentioned earlier.
how did you do that? Oh. How? So a little bigger in the right direction, but still a little tiny guy. Excuse me. Riley, I can't even see it. Need some serious business for that. Look how far in there it is. We're just a little guy. Oh my god, there was a huge one behind it, Riley. That was a big one. Oh my god, that was a big one, Riley. Oh, smallmouth. Smallmouth, right? Okay, I'll trade you. You hold your pole. Yeah, no, no, right. No, 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 no. You can break the pole. Yeah, Dad. This little guy. This little smallmouth. This little smallmouth. That was only like a two pound fish, right? Still pretty nice, though. Don't, don't stop reeling, you gotta keep reeling. That's why you keep losing them when you swap over. Yep, kind of coming on the trolling motor though. Keep reeling, keep reeling, keep reeling. All right, let me see. Yeah, these little guys are unreal. I have caught so many of these just little tiny ones today. Just 
So I'm up in that area that I missed that big one. Actually, I didn't miss it. He didn't even touch it. He just came up to the boat. I just missed one right in that same area. Couldn't tell if it was a big one or not, but something hit me. There's a fish. Yep. All right, so, I don't know. These little guys are just, okay, can I see the pliers, please? These little guys are just relentless today. What are you doing on the water fish with it? Okay, just keep us away from shore, okay? What? Just keep us away from shore, okay? Let's see if we can pop this side cover off and see if there's a spring or something over there that popped off. Let me show it was just a spring. So I'm not getting, I'm not getting any tension on that lever. Yep, there it is, right there. That's all it was. This just popped off our lever there. I don't know how it happened, but... Easy enough fix, thankfully. Riley's driving us around. Yeah. Wave, say hi. Hi. She's doing a great job. Where's, the, where's all the fish, Rod? Where's all the fish? Yep. All right, so we just moved to another shoreline, and we're actually getting pounded with wind pretty good. So Riley's driving us on the trolling motor. She's keeping us going in the right direction. She's doing an awesome job. We hop from the west shoreline, which was a windy shoreline. Now we're on the east, and still getting a little bit of wind, but it's not as bad as it was. So this is much more manageable. Just took off. One cast in, catch this. Oh, he's looking for it. Oh. oh, that's a nice one, Rye. That's the biggest of the day so far. Yeah. Oh, he's on the back. Let me see. Okay. All right, biggest of the day so far. Yeah. And that is asking for a hook. Biggest of the day. Right in the hand. Okay, right. Bring my pole down, please. Thank you. Right here. Still not a huge one, but the rest of the day. So that's all for today. It's actually kind of a tough day fishing. Just small fish everywhere. You know, 15 inch fish up to 25 inch fish. Caught a ton of them. Caught probably. 20 to 25 they were just everywhere really no big fish i missed that one big one that was easily 10 could have been pushing 15. but the wind was just constant today and this is actually the lightest it's been all day it's probably 10 mile an hour winds right now sorry for all the small fish i know they're small i promise they're going to get bigger this has just been a super super tough spring it's been super unpredictable 
it's been raining pretty much non-stop we're getting more rain than sun i mean it's raining for two or three days at a time and we'll get half a day of sun and it's just been a super tough spring it's been cold and windy and it's been hard to get out and effectively fish but we fished about six hours it's uh just about one right now we started right around seven and riley did amazing at five she didn't complain once she did a little bit of fishing she's trying super hard she's getting really good at casting she's really come a long way in the past year so i anticipate she'll be doing pretty good at the end of the season but riley's going to bring us back into shore and we'll catch you on the next one